Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Lee Swales. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Law at the University of KwaZulu-Natal in Durban. My research primarily focuses on the interaction between technology and the law. As we know, on the 15th of March, South Africa declared a national state of disaster um, in terms of the Disaster Management Act as a result of the COVID-19 um, virus. This followed the World Health Organization characterizing COVID-19 as a pandemic on the 11th of March. Since then, in South Africa particularly, various regulations have been promulgated with a view to curbing the spread of the virus. Some of these regulations have drastically affected our constitutional rights, such as the right to freedom of movement and the right to privacy. In a first for South Africa's constitutional democracy, these recently, regu uh, release, recently released regulations permit authorities to use technology to track and trace those who have become infected with COVID-19 or those who are reasonably suspected to have become infected with the virus. This will be known as the COVID-19 uh, tracing database. In another first for South Africa's constitutional democracy, persons in South Africa are now subject to a curfew. Although constitutional rights may be validly limited by section 36 of the constitution, this may only be done briefly by a law of general application and to the extent that the limitation of rights is reasonable and justifiable in a democratic society. With this in mind, my research is exploring the distinction between a state of disaster on the one hand and a state of emergency on the other hand, and the implications for limiting rights in either of those contexts. Further, particularly looking at our current position, which is a state of disaster, are the provisions which create these track and trace database, which creates the track and trace database, and these 19 subsections, is it a reasonable and justifiable limitation of rights? The primary purpose of my current research then is to consider and analyze the legal framework surrounding these tracing provisions, to comment on their legal validity, and to consider the interaction between the Protection of Personal Information Act and the COVID-19 tracing database, and the further aspects of the regulations that pertain to technology and the law. Thank you.